Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back with another in our series of making ephemera. Uh, and so, so far we've done two items. Uh, and like I said, you can watch these videos in any order and you don't have to be someone who's purchased one of these kits. Um, so that was the first one we did with the postcard. And this is the one we did last time with the CD case. Uh, and it's got a tag on the inside that's it's more of a journaling space, it's not even a journaling card, although it's got a nice heft to it because of the paper we put on. Sorry, let's see if we can get this in. Okay, so yeah, so I thought maybe we do something with an envelope today. So this is some of the items uh, that were in the kit, and then I've put the smalls from the kit in these little baskets so that I have them available. I'm one of these people, if it's out of sight, then it's out of mind, and I need to um, I need to see something to know that it's there to play with. Okay, let's take a couple of those tags, and maybe one of these small envelopes. Let's see what we can do with that. So, I like let's maybe put something on the back. I like to get these last one, these last spaces done, um, or these anchor spaces done first. It's a nice thickness. This, these were um, tags I bought on Amazon. We're still, we still have very a lot of rain, uh, so um, apologies for how dark it is. So what if we did? We put like a, a tuck spot with the envelope that also had a spot for um, a tag at the top, but maybe we could do have a tag flip on it as well. What do you think? I think that could work. Okay, let's try that. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. I'm going to cut the Bit off the envelope because we don't need all of that paper. Um, and how much of it do we want to? Okay, so almost get my glue out and just kind of go like so. And this would be a good thing to use um, glue stick. I'm using art glitter glue and I'm just eyeballing it. And there we go. So now we've created like a little flip right there. And then when it opens, I'd like to have something pretty here. Um, I have some papers that I've already torn, and these ones are, some of them are from chapter one. Papers. Oh gosh, that's super pretty. I think I'd like to use that one. Sorry I hit this. Um, I have some of Rachel's beautiful papers. I have some chapter one papers already printed out. Uh, so what I want to do is just kind of come to just past. I'm going to come just past the envelope because I can fold it around the envelope. Uh, and that might just reinforce it a little bit. And then at the top, how much do we want to take off? Maybe I want to take, I like the top of this flower, so I might just take the bottom off a bit. Line that up. Line that up. I feel like that's pretty good. And you know, I'd, as I always say, it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> I'm going to put that in with my scraps. Uh, and so, what I'm going to do is put my glue all around where the envelope, uh, the top layer of the envelope is without, I don't want to put glue on the inside of that part of the envelope because then that's going to affect 
uh, how much of a pocket we have. But I am going to put a little line here. Okay. So, we go like that. Looks great, and then we do this. Just gonna put some glue here, hold that down, and now I have a little bit of trimming to do, I think. Yeah, I think I'd like to take this bit off and do some cutting there. There we go. And where I didn't tear very, it's a little bit sticking off the bottom. And I know I want to open this at the top. Like that. So that's going to give me a spot for, actually we could use another of these tags in here I think. So that's still a little bit wet, so I'm going to take that out. Um, and what else do we want? We've got, I want to cover that part there where it's white actually. And let's see, I've got, let's use some more book page. Look at the color on this page. I just think that is so pretty. So, if I were to just kind of tear, I'm going to tear fairly generously because this is a fairly wide um, tag and I'm just going to grab that bit off. Maybe I'll bring you a little bit closer. There, that might be a bit better. Um, this would be a good spot to ink if you did ink. Um, I do ink a little bit. I mean, I, I ink uh, when I want to. I would ink that for sure. I don't have my ink with me, so I'm going to have to pick it up on my next trip home. But that would be a, an appropriate spot, or that's a spot I would definitely ink for sure. Actually, it might be a good spot to put some washi tape. Let's see. So the cloth ones. Oh, this is pretty. This is this is some um, William Morris tape. And we could do this. We could put that like so. And then there's no reason oops, why we can't fold it over onto the other side. Nope, I don't want to. <laughs> I thought there was no reason, and there wasn't a reason, but now I decided it wasn't really big enough to make a statement. So then it, for me, if it's not big enough to make a statement, then it feels like, why is it there? You start to question, what's that all about? So I like how that looks, and I want to do same sort of thing here. Do I have, I don't really, well we could do this bit. Put that there. Midge, I'm so sorry guys. Quiet. Come here. Come on. Good girl. Quiet. Good girl. Quiet. She did that in the last video as well. She gets spooked, and it's funny because I'm always with her. Um, I mean, you know, we ex I exercise her a lot and all of that, but she does, she's still a little bit skittish. Um, it just doesn't seem to be much I can do about that, I guess. Um, anyway, I'm learning more about the breed. She's a Sheltie. I think I mentioned that last time. She's a lovely, lovely girl. But I have to say, when she when she barks like that, 
sometimes I'm like, you know the the um, Looney Tunes <laughs> car cartoons where, um, oh I don't know, somebody barks or make a big noise. I feel like Sylvester. It's the bulldog barks and then Sylvester the cat is then all of a sudden hanging from the ceiling. That's what I feel like sometimes. So, okay, I got that. And I did find my envelope of beautiful items. And many of these um, were, uh, well, I've used most of the ones, actually, I think I've used all of the ones that um, Heather Zenker gave me. And then now I'm, these are mostly things that I've cut out myself. Uh, so, gosh, that was such a marvelous gift for her to share that with me. So I'll try to remember to link the video from where she, uh, she sent uh, those items to me. So I'm just taking out a label, and this is another Tracy Fox label. I think, I think these are called the science labels. Not 100%. I'm just going to take another look at those flowers just to make sure I've got the one, the best one. For this. Okay, I'll just audition these ones. So there's the white with the green, and that's kind of nice, but I think this purple one might be a winner. Though I kind of lose, I lose a lot of writing, but that's okay. I'm going to put that there. I just love the looks of the purple. It is my favorite color. So, I think that's the case because I love irises so much and um, I've mostly only ever, I've only ever grown the purple ones uh, and that was because I didn't really know about all the other beautiful um, colors within the, that particular flower type. So, I'm, uh, I'm anxious to add some new colors to the garden. So isn't that pretty? So that's just very quick little tag flip. I feel like, is there, oh, Midge, quiet. Midge, come. Hey, down. Sorry guys, Midge. Hey, quiet, quiet. Come here, quiet. Good girl. Midge, quiet. I think I said good girl too soon. Um, I wonder put I wonder about putting this here over this a bit so that there's instead of having this decorated that this is kind of a spot where you could write. I kind of like that idea right there. So I'm just gonna do that. And she's probably gonna bark again, and I'm so sorry. There's really uh, I feel like my videos are going to have to come with a warning now. <laughs> I'm not upset with her. I mean, she's just doing what's in her nature to do. So maybe we can put something at the bottom here, though. Um, let's see, I've got some birds. Oh, here's a nice one. Also have that. Super pretty, but then I will be taking up all that space I said I want it for for a journaling so I'm going to do this instead and I'm going to put a label and have this little fella standing on the label that's what my hope is you hear her having a chomp now she's she's let me know what's up and now she's having a little chomp so if we have him yeah I think that'll work out. I know I'm going to have people sent in the comments, the dog is too loud, you know, put her somewhere. I hope, I know most of you don't say that, but my gosh, when Leo was still alive, I still got people telling me that, you know, they couldn't take the cat, which, look, it's okay. 
everybody has you have to do yourself right you do you as the fabulous um, Tim Holtz would say oh here it is right here it's almost always right in front of us when we're looking to <laughs> the uh, punch anyway sorry I shouldn't lament <laughs> let's see about this um, envelope or not envelope this tag so we can do decorate that to go in the top and why don't we I think I just want to cover it with that beautiful paper from chapter one papers so I'm going to go like so all the way around and then we can use the back to journal on probably confusing to her too that I seem to be talking to myself. Um, pardon me. So I'm just going to cut that out coming right up but up to the tag. Pretty. And that's pretty simple, but look what a beautiful tag that that has made. And what about, what do I have? Where's the lace? We could put a little bit of lace on here, maybe. Um, maybe I'll cut out one of these little flowers. And then we'll move that over here. Maybe set that up there like that. I think that would be really, really pretty. As like a topper. And that keeps it from falling into the envelope, which is a little bit deeper than the tag. So there's a, a little tip for you. You've probably already figured that out. But some folks are new, so it's nice to share some ideas that they may not have heard yet. They certainly will have heard it from lots of other people too if they've if you watch others, which I'm sure you do. Please do because my goodness, mine is just uh, a limited um, experience. Gosh, I don't think I want to cover that flower, but I like the idea of having some more of this green washi right here. And you know I want a label. A label that says nature. That's going to go down here. So yeah, this is actually fun. I think I've made a version of this before, um, but this, what's nice is by playing around, you just kind of get like, oh, gosh, let's jig that a little bit or do something a little bit different with it. Okay. I hope I've been on screen. Oh, my goodness. Wouldn't that have been? Would not be good, that's for sure. So what I want to do is I want to attach that, um, and I'm going to attach it on two sides because then we can tuck something behind it. I'm, I'm not going to put anything behind it right now. I think what I'll do is just kind of print a page on two sides, one side being having um, not a lot of uh, pattern so that someone could use it as a spot to, you know, as like, like fold up a piece of coffee stain paper, if you will, and put back there so that there's more uh, journaling space. So this opens like that. We have a tuck spot back here. And move this out of the way. And we have this spot up here as well in the envelope. Just a second. 
Easier said than done. There we go. And that's fine because it's the other side of this paper. I have to put some glue stick on that. And that is our fun little project for today. A little tag flip with an extra tag. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do apologize for Mitch being noisy. Um, but you know what? She's a pup. Uh, and we're still working on that. <laughs> okay guys, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.